three major concepts. We talk about duration, work, or sometimes we call that effort, and resource units. And those three things are very important. Those three things is uh, what we need to understand. So let's let's start. We have first the work, the work that needs to be done in a task, in an activity. We have the work, and that work requires a effort. Okay, that's very important. That work requires a effort. Usually, usually, we try to convert the effort in working. So let's suppose that for a work, uh, just for the sake of the example, we need 1,500 working, working hours to do a job. That is the effort. That is the effort. And now we have to play with two things. Two things uh, that we can talk. Let's put another color. I have all colors here. Let's say we have one thing that the duration of the whole activity, the duration, and we have to play with resources. And I would say, how many people I have to execute the job? So, when are doing estimates, we have to consider two things, the effort and the resources, and then I can calculate the duration. So if I, 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 I come from that, I, I will define the effort and the resource, how many people will be working, I can determine the duration. Or I can play with the other two elements. I can say that I have that work effort and I have to do that in five days. I fix a duration and I have a effort. And therefore I I have to I will be able to determine how many people I will need to work on those five days. Or I can say that I have five days and five painters. With that I have a limited work effort that I can produce. So that's very important because in some case, so let's suppose that I have, let's now play with some scenarios here. Let's play with some scenarios here. Let's put a, a small table. Let's put here uh, the effort. Let's put here quantity of resources or people and duration. Okay. So we can have, let's suppose that the effort is the same, 1500. Let's say that I have one painter. How many days are we need to complete the task? How many days? How many days? So I ha I need my effort is working hours. One fifteen hundred working hours. Let's suppose that that resource works eight hours a day. So if I take one thousand five hundred divide by eight, I will need. 100 
and ate seven days and a half. So the duration, if I just have one resource, that's the duration of the task. I have, I, I can have another situation. Let's put here a red situation. Your boss tells you, you need to complete that in 20 days. Your clients say, you need to complete the task in 20 days. Now, how many people, how many people do I need to hire? How many people? Let's see if someone can put on the, on the, on the chat area here. 10 people, 10 people. Okay, but because I fix the effort and the duration. Or I will say, and that doesn't happen because if you have a fixed people and a, a fixed effort, that, that usually you determine your effort from the task that is required for the project. And that comes to the concept of fixed duration of fixed effort of fixed resources that you have on when you are inputting a task on the MES project. Usually, the MES project will you work with fixed effort and a certain number of resources, but that you can change that. So that's another kind of parametric estimate. You have units, and you go from units to uh, to a total duration. The second one is the customers or the boss or the manager. This is days. Say you have twenty days. Find a way and do the job in twenty days. Within twenty days. So what I have to do? I can. I can take the total effort that 1500 hours to paint that paint project. And so I have to say, okay, how many hours of work I have to do per day? So per day, I will have 1500 divided by 20, 75 hours. 75 hours per day of work but one person cannot do that one person so 75 hours per day but here 75 hours 75 working hours per day so if one person can do eight hours so i can divide by eight hours eight working hours that is working hours and here i come from 75 divide by eight it's nine it's nine point four but i cannot cut a person in the middle let's round up and put 10 workers Okay. Keep in mind, in any project, in any project, you have a effort, amount of work that you have to do, and you have to play with amount of resources that are available for you and the duration. If you have infinite resources, you can go and uh, uh, choose the best duration you, you can. But if you have limited resource, you have to take more time to complete the task. 